What's up? Here we go. Friday. So excited. Duh. Today's Friday. I'm in a great mood. Super good mood. And I'll tell you why. And I'll share with you guys. I'm going to be reading today. I'm kind of shifting coffee talk a little bit. Um, getting ready for... Uh, to produce my own good morning what is up what is up welcome uh, producing my own podcast and producing uh, my own channel uh, we're going to be putting together a lot of content uh, I'm super super excited um, just got my camera and got um, I'm going to be like dealing with this camera so excited um, learning the ins and outs what's up Don Shaw what's up Carlito Laura what's up welcome guys Welcome to Coffee Talk. Today is going to be like one of those like magical mornings. Totally. Sandra, what's up? Welcome. Melissa, I feel like I haven't talked to you in like forever. ACV going down. ACV going down. With a little sparkling water. A little magnesium. I added a little zinc. Cheers to my ACV crowd. You don't know what ACV is. Reach out. Connect with me. Let's get our groove going. Let's get that groove going. Hey, what's up? What's popping on a Friday, yo? It's all about gut health, you guys. All about the gut. Like we think brain, brain, gut. That's the connection. That's everything. Hack number one, get your gut together. I'm throwing it down today. I'm really like, Kind of shifting out of, I guess, kind of shifting out of playing safe. Uh, I guess I need to really um, own up where I am. And if I offend you in any way, I could be saying the things that you need to hear. If I, ACB over here, what's up? Let's get it going. Laura. Laura. We got another Laura in the house because my original over there, Laura, might get a little upset with the new Laura in the house. My girls get very, very passionate about their mama over here. It's been a weird week. I missed my year. Mama son right here. Mama son's in the house. I got my unicorn behind me. Yeah. If you didn't see Deadpool, just go see Deadpool. Um, actually, I am... I, I, I just honestly... Um, <laughs> I am binging for the second... It's okay. She'll be the other Laura. Right. Um, I'm binging for the second time around. I don't know why I missed this show, but I'm going to give you guys the hack, the hack of the week. Um, if you're having like an off week and, and like things are just like not sorting themselves out, um, jump in front, getting, get, I just bought like, um, this schmumpy, yumpy, like 10 piece lazy boy set with big fucky, I like the couches are like, automatic, like lean back. I, I, I rolled out of that, I rolled into it last night, I had dinner, and then I, I got inside, and I, uh, back in the lazy boy, I was out, I was literally like, I think I was drooling, I was out, like that thing is so, it's like being held, being cu cr cradled by your mom, like when you're like a baby, like you just, uh, boom, I was I was snoring. I know I was snoring because I can't breathe. So I know I snore, but you never know your snore. And I've not had, I've, I, this might sound a little like intimate, but I haven't slept with somebody in a, in a, I, I actually don't even remember the last time I lived with someone. Yeah. I don't, I do relationships like you have your place and I have mine. Let's just, let's keep it real. Like, yeah. Ha. That's how I roll. I'm like, yeah. Because most of these dum-dums out here don't know how to have relationships. So I keep it on the real. Anyway, uh, that was that. We're going to be reading today. I'm going to recommend this book to you guys. Um, if you want to jot it down or remind me. Yeah, so w w the two Lauras are going back and forth. Uh, Laura Cardona, I'm little Laura. I dig that I am tall, so that works. All right. 
Okay, so here's your book recommendation, and I'm going to read from the book. Uh, Melissa, I think you'll really love this. I might have recommended it to the group before. Um, if you guys are not in Mindset Reset, now's the time to jump in. If you guys are on Mindset Reset and you need to renew, let's go and pay up. Let's get that money in the bank. Let's get going. Uh, we're moving down the road. And if you're in strength, you guys have your workout, you have your homework, you're supposed to be sending me videos, you guys are like slacking, that's okay. It's Friday, let's get things going. The book is called The Buddha in Your Mirror. The Buddha in Your Mirror. Why do I like Buddha? I like Buddha because like, he was like this really rich kid that had never seen like poverty or illness or anything bad in the world, like his parents, like so many people that I know, which is really crazy that I know this many people that are, they coddle their children. They're like, I don't want my kids to go through what I went through. And I'm like, why? Because it made you like really cool and strong and hip. And now your kid's an idiot. Your kid's like a dick. Your kid has no foundation and no like, you know, no struggle. Remember we talked about that like a million times that that kid that's like in the cocoon and the guy comes along and he's like he sees that that butterfly squirming inside the cocoon to try to get out and he sees the struggle and he feels bad then he goes over and he just opens the cocoon for the butterfly the butterfly flies out falls falls out because it didn't have a chance to get muscle and strength to build for that next chapter of its life and what na nature has done is provide that cocoon as a way to like force itself out and get muscle to go fly but he took it out and he opened it up and he fell out and he died so we've done that we've done that to a lot of people i as an empath i end up doing that to a lot i'm a caretaker so I'm like, let me, let me fix you. Let me help you. And I always think in my mind, I, I, I know how to do it better because I've done it and I've made the mistakes. So let me show you and save you the heartache. And then I do that and it's invariably people don't listen to you they want to hear what they want to do from your mouth. And I end up on the other side of that going, why the fuck did I even say anything? Like, you're not going to listen to me, then screw you. And when people pay, they listen. Somewhat. But people still want to do their own thing because they think that they have control over their human bodies and yet they've never really gotten ugly and down and dirty when it comes to what needs to be done. And the other side of that, and I'm going to share the, the thought with the Buddha in your mirror is the book uh, and it's written by her. Oh, it's, it's a lot of people. Yeah, it's like three people, but it's called The Buddha in Your Mirror. Anyway, get the book. Don't get the audio book. Get the, get the book, read the book, because you're going you're gonna to dog ear and, and make changes and copies and, and, and things like that. Actually, let me, let, me, let, me, let me read. Let me read to you guys real quick. Um, and I thought this was interesting. Um, and, and, and why I like Buddha going back is because, you know, this kid was given this incredible life and lifestyle and like the moth right or the the butterfly uh, and, and the caterpillar you know one day i think by accident the the palace doors opened up and he saw a homeless person and he was in shock like you know with i guess leprosy or whatever and he was like oh my god what is that i've never seen uh, a, a person that was, you know, disabled or, you know, not clean and full of jewelry or, or, or whatever, because he had only been on the inside. And he ran back to his father and was like, what is that? You know, what, what, what are we dealing with? And the father was mortified. Like, I tried to keep you from all of this and I didn't want to show you. And, and then he ends up you know, like he's, he's like freaks out 
And he takes off and he goes in for, for 40 days somewhat, you know, as the story has been told. Um, he just went and sat under uh, a, a Bodai tree and decided to meditate and try to figure shit out. And he apparently was like enlightened by this time that in space that he spent alone. And what I got out of all of that when I was really studying a lot of, I've studied a lot of religion and philosophy and things like that. I love the Stoics. Um, every day I read some type of Stoic. I, I follow a lot of Stoic um, philosophy, Seneca, all the greats. And one of the things that I realized was being alone and figuring out who you are. Being alone. We're always with someone. And if you're coupled with someone and, and, it's, and it's great, it's great. But we're never alone. We never take the time to be alone, which is why I love being alone. The more alone I am, the more I figure things out about myself. I share with you guys as much as I can. So let me read with you, read to you, blah, real quick. A blue fly, if it clings to the tail of a thoroughbred horse, can travel 10,000 miles. And the green ivy that twines around the tall pine can grow to a thousand feet. And it's interesting when I, when I read that and I, I grab certain things, I'm like, wow, what it's trying to say is, is as, as we may feel small when we attach ourselves to people that are better than us or people that have more information. And how does that apply to you today is what I said on the topic of, you know, what are the hacks? And sometimes I listen to, I listen to a lot of people. Um, I listen to a lot of science. I listen to a lot of research. I balance out, you know, the pros and cons of each. And I go deep diving for you. Because I know you guys are like, if, if it's not interesting, you're not going to, you're not going to go after it. And the people that come to me are like, let me, I see how you live your life. I see your body. I see how you work out. I post my videos of my workouts. The other day I was doing a 165 back squat, um, you know, my deadlifting. I train very hard and I train very heavy. And in order to change my body, I've got to keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And it's never changed for me. I never really got um, in a place in my life where I thought, I'm okay, I'm good. Uh, this is good. Uh, I I'm settled. Um, and now I can just sit on the couch and let's see what happens. That's not how it works. And unfortunately, the hack that I'm about to give you guys for a lot of you that are over the age of 40 not going to want to hear this and don't want to deal with it. And you've lost your motivation. You've lost your enthusiasm. You've lost your, you know, you kind of like your, uh, for life, your zest for life. I never lost it. I never let it go, but I've had peaks and valleys in my life. Also the way that I eat. Uh, I'm a big carnivore. I'm a big meat eater, L very little carbohydrate in my diet. Um, I don't like to feel bloated when I eat too many carbohydrates of any kind, whether they be cruciferous, uh, I don't eat a lot of starchy carbs, but when I eat that high carbohydrate of any kind, and I'm talking about over 50, 75 grams of carbohydrates, I'm bloated, I feel sluggish, I slow down. So I have very high meat and a very high fat diet. Um, and and I've, I've come to learn how to enjoy that. And I actually came out of the closet with my eating because a lot of people will, you know, everybody's got their opinion. Everybody's going to tell me how good it is or how bad it is. And I say, and I work with hundreds of thousands of people on their diet and everybody's different. Everybody's different. Men metabolize different than women. And I had to deal with that. And men train different than women socially but men and women train exactly the same and the delusion that people have that I always laugh because I go um I love when advertisers or, or companies go these are men's bags and I'm like 
Um, I'm pretty sure that that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard or a women's workout. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I think that we as a society are kind of fucked up about men's stuff and women's stuff. And we're getting to a place of it's just stuff. Does it work for you? Cool. Thumbs up. It doesn't work for you. Cool. Figure it out. Try something different. Go on to the next thing. So when we talk about food, we talk about hacks, we talk about longevity and muscle training. Now, I'm a biological female. I am not producing the hormones that my counterpart as a male does because it's just not there. Our chemistry is different. Um, our, our hormones are different. Our chemistry is not different. I take that back. Our chemistry is the same. Our hormones are different. Um, so there's, there's, a, there's a biological difference. And because of that, I eat differently than some people that I know. I don't eat as much as, let's say, my, my male counterpart. But I eat the same. I have a very high protein, high fat content, um, and very little carbohydrate in my diet. And that makes me super energized. It, it, it shoves my metabolism like through the roof all day long. I have a lot of my friends that are vegans and vegetarians, and I call them skinny fat. Uh, a lot of very fat, overweight, out of shape uh, vegetarians. And if you're on here and you're a vegetarian and you're offended, I might be saying something that you need to hear because being a vegetarian is is a way of eating doesn't mean that it's right for you um if you're on an ethical pathway to say i don't want to eat the meat okay that's cool but you're killing the plants and you're killing all the animals that eat the plants you know you're taking away from them so your ethical bullshit doesn't fly with me and that's cool too but we need to take a better stance on our own personal health what works what doesn't work um and so I want to share with you also, again, I'm going to read from the book today. Hey, hey. I know. So I, I, I hope you guys giggle off of this, but I eat these throughout the day. This is not my favorite, but it's a venison strip. Epic. But I eat these like if I'm like stuck somewhere. I'm not making the money off of these things yet. I'm getting my Amazon station totally set up. Um, all right. I'm going to flip because I wanted to share with you guys one of the things that I, I, I also deal with every day uh, more and more and more and more and more. Um, pretty sure I personal trainers are part time therapists. <laughs> I, the, we just are. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to read to you guys. I try so hard to fade away. But something's forcing me to stay. It'd be easier for me if I turn away to flee. Oh. Again, if I say something that a Bends you. It's not personal. If you guys read the four agreements, anything people say, it's never personal. It's just might be an ideology that you've hung on to for a long time. And you've kind of like wormed your way into like, that's, that's how I do it. And, and don't take me off of my platform because that's the way I feel. I'm like, okay, listen, I have vegans that are just like, whew, I, I, I painfully very ill vegetarian kind of mentality like i don't kill the animal and the mother and the baby i'm like i get it but there's also like a pathway to you know a a, a better way of eating and and the science that you guys hear like the animals killing the animals or slaughtering it's like that's such bullshit there's just so much misinformation out there it just drives me crazy uh, I wear what I want, thank you. Yeah, I get it. Um, men's sneakers better, I wear them. Yep, I also buy men's wallets. Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, guys, there's no, there's no difference. And I, I want it to be, I want to give you guys a license to understand, like, you know, like, like this hat, like whatever. Um, a, a lot of people tell me, oh, it's a trucker hat. Like, oh, that's a man's hat. I'm like, oh, what? I'm pretty sure, I, what does that mean? What does that even mean? Like, if, if, if we didn't know there were like, like, by, by the way, um, pink for girls and boys in blue was actually the other way around many, many, many years ago. It was actually pink was a boy's color and blue was a girl's color. I don't even know why you would assign colors to a fucking kid. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so if that were true, then why is blue for boys and pink is for girls? And why the fuck do you guys dress your kids to, to, to put them in a box. Like, just wear pinks and bows and shit. They, my parents did that to me, and I'm like, why? Like, I love dresses. There's nothing hotter than me in a pencil skirt and heels. And if you haven't seen it, it's hot. Mama can do it. I can pull it off. I can be the biggest girl, and then I can be the biggest boy. Like, do you. And be fabulous at you. And, and, and let that, let that like evolve. Stop sticking your kids in, you know, like my mom would take me shopping and we'd walk through the store and I did realize, cause they had signs, boys, right? They do that at Target and shit like that. I'm like, why do you do that? Boys with, you know, big sign, girls. And I was embarrassed because like back then was like, I liked that boy's outfit. It was the cutest little, um, I remember it was, the, the, the label was called Billy the Kid, whatever, and the pants were corduroy, like a tan corduroy, and a tan corduroy matching jacket. Yo, so cute. Like, to me, I was like, uh, I have to, I like tears running down my face. I'm like, mom, <gasps> And then, you know, my mom was like, cool, because she was like, I'm not going to fight my children over the shit they want to wear, as long as it's not, like, ridiculous. Thank you, mom. And I look so cute in that outfit. And I wore the fuck out of it, right? And it wasn't until I got to school around other kids and, you know, look. Bullying is a is a thing, but we're never gonna stop it. Bullying is a thing, but we're never gonna stop it. I, I want you guys to know that I am gonna get into fitness and, and nutrition hacks, but it all leads up. It all leads up, right? But they got like just be you guys. I'm I'm giving you the license. I'm giving you the the ticket to just be you. And when you guys are you, like, can you imagine me? Like, seriously, and I'll give you a great example. And I hope this makes sense to you guys. Imagine that I woke up and I needed to get a big, huge boob job. And, 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 and just, yeah. And long nails and, right. I, I think you get the picture. I think you guys get the idea. Like, that's just not me. That's just not me. That's not me. And why would I do what everybody else does? Or, you know, if I'm trying to present myself any different than who I really am, then I'm fake. I'm, fa I'm living for someone else's approval. Oh, let me get boobs. Why? And, and granted, I have friends that have had babies and their boobs sag and they just don't feel attractive to their partner. So they're like, you know what? I just, I wanna, oh, cool, cosmetic. You wanna look better or a nose job or whatever it is that makes you like feel better about yourself, go and do that, do that. And working out is the same way. Why do you want to do CrossFit if you're not even walking, right? And 
I want you guys to really go back to a place in your life. And I say sometimes, hold on. But there's something holding on in the way of being long. I say, I say the question like this. When was the last time you were in the best shape of your life? When was the last time? What were you doing? Where were you at? What kind of activities were you doing? Um, and you and you felt like magical. You felt like you were walking above the clouds, you know? And you're like, yeah, check me out. Yo, check this shit out. I'm looking good. I'm feeling fine. And I guarantee you were probably eating really good. Uh, a lot of people tell me like high school, college, um, I was just like jamming. I was crushing it. I, I, I was in a really good place. Yeah, you didn't have the responsibility or the bills you probably have now. You didn't have life in you, so it didn't crush you, didn't weigh down on top of you. And that's something that I've done. I've not allowed life to crush me. I've allowed to just like move it out of the way, accept what I can, keep moving forward and maintaining integrity with my training and my eating because I can control that. And so many of you were like, hey, you know, I don't work out and I eat like shit. And then I wonder why parts of my life are failing and I wonder why parts of my life are, you know, just not working out. And then you'll go another day without working out and another day without working out. And I have friends that tell me, I don't like to work out. Listen, I want you guys to know, nobody in my family works out. They're overweight, out of shape, eat like crap. And it's, it's, it's a place that I come from, like, that's just not me. Like, it frightens me, but I'm not that. And so many people that I know... Right now, you guys are here. You probably have family members that are not like you. If you work out, they don't work out. And I know that to be true. So many people that I know that are in that place like, I don't want to be like my mom. I don't want to be like my dad. I love my mom. I love my dad. But I physically don't want to be in that place. I don't want to have that future. I want to be strong. But yet, I'm locked in a mentality where I can't get out of... You know, what do I do? Everybody's doing CrossFit and boot camp and I don't like to sweat. And you know, that's so fucked up because sweating is the reward system. Sweating is the reward system. I'm like, I'm sweating because I'm actually giving to myself, right? I'm giving to myself this activity that is... Right? Releasing this energy. Sweat's just energy. Sweat's just a byproduct of the thing that you had to do. And it's a reward. You sit on your couch, you do nothing. What's the reward? I'm tired. You're fucking tired of what? You're going to turn around at a, at a certain age and have a big basket of regret going, why did I move? Now that I'm in a wheelchair or on a walker or a cane or some bullshit, why didn't I work out when she told me to? What was so horrible about walking around the block? You read, you read, you read, you read me? So I share with you from the book, screenshot, mom, all right. True happiness is not the absence of suffering. You cannot have day after day of clear skies. True happiness lies in building a self that stands dignified and indomitable. Big word. Happiness doesn't mean having a life free from all difficulties, but that whatever difficulties arise without being shaken in the least. You can summon up the unflinching courage and conviction to fight and overcome them. Ultimately, happiness is determined by the degree to which we establish a solid self. This self is actually the true self of one's life, the eternal existing life of Buddha that exists in harmony with the laws of the universe. And what I am trying to express to you guys is that when I... The Buddha in the mirror. 
Yeah, for those who saw it backwards. Yeah. yeah. Not that difficult. When I expressed to you my desire to knock on your door, hey, it's six o'clock in the morning, you're still asleep. Why? The sun's about to come out. Let's get energized. Let's get that coffee going. Let's put your shoes on and go outside. What do you guys have to do between six and eight? I'm confused because most of you are sleeping. I'm tired. I go to bed late. The fuck? Get your ass in bed and start reading good books and getting positive a framework. Stop watching TV. And 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 the kind of the punch in the face is I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to work out, Lisa. I have twenty seven children and eighteen jobs and I don't have time to work out. Really? 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 Your number one job should be to wake your ass up and get the workout. Either I like to work out at night. I love to have a full day, get it behind me, get everything taken care of, go to the gym. I put everything aside. I'm actually always working. The phone's always on. I'm always working with clients, but they never take away from, yeah, they never take away from what I have to do uh, and I get the job done. And when I go to my workout, if I'm really, really, really sore from the previous few workouts, I, I can take a hall pass and say, I'm just going to scale back. I'm going to modify a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to get in and get the workout done. And if I need to take a day off, my body will tell me, you know what, uh, I'm not feeling it. I don't feel 100%. I don't feel like, eh. Then, then take a day off. But when people ask me all the time, how many days a week do you work out? And I say, how many days a week do you eat? Let's think about that for a second. Because I think there's a little bit of logic here that you guys have never processed. Uh is I eat I gotta move I have to earn the energy that I just put inside my body and if you guys are not high protein high fats you're putting a lot of shit in your body that will just store and why are you doing that and if you're not clear about your diet mindset reset Drop a comment below, say, I'm in, I need to get on your program, I need to get organized, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be eating, and I'm totally eating all the wrong things. I work with fitness professionals all day long that have no clue how to eat. They're disasters. They're big fruitaholics or juiceaholics. I'm like, Jesus. One way to wreck your body is to eat and consume a crap load of sugar. Oh, but blueberries are good for you. Like, seriously, people, you're misguided by the information that surrounds you. We have just like... Everybody on the internet's got their game, right? My game is eat healthy, right? And I see the bitch going through this whole like eat healthy blueberries and oatmeal and blah, blah, like, oh my God. I worked with a trainer and I eat oatmeal in the morning. I'm like, that's why you're fat. 
that's why you're like hypoglycemic and diabetic and your energy is like tanking out. It's true. Right. And I really like need you guys to understand if I'm telling you things that offend you, just get off. There's plenty of people to listen to. If I'm telling you things that offend you and you're like, oh shit, that's me. You got to drop a comment below. Get on the program. Understand. Get educated. I'm here as an educational provider. I'm here to get you guys super organized and super real about where you are in your diet. If you're not working out, just go for a walk. That's where we start. I set you up with an app that you can follow. I can follow you, which is great because I'm like, yay. Accountability is everything. Listen, when you cut the cord from your mother and whatever time in life and as an adult you cut that cord, you haven't had a mom. You haven't had somebody to tell you, hey, what are you doing? Stop eating the way that the internet wants you to eat and eat for your body. And we need to figure that out. We need to sit down and get real. Tell me what you eat. I watched a, 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 a two-month a, a two program from a fitness professional, and she's a lovely person and, 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 and a downright good trainer, but her nutrition was so horrible. And it was based on, like, carbs and carbs and carbs and carbs and carbs. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. But they said, Lisa, I'm like, they is a lot of people and they are not you and your body. So unless you have somebody that can dial in your, 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 and listen guys, eat whatever you want. Cause at the end of the day, you come back and hire me anyway, and I'll take your money just as, as quickly as anyone else, but I'm not going to lie to you. And that's why people hire me. They're like, don't lie to me. Tell me exactly what to eat. Because I'm, I'm not doing it right. I don't get it. I got it. Because I love you guys. I have such a passion for what I do. And getting people back on their feet. It's almost like healthy people eating all the wrong foods. And smart people doing all the wrong exercises. Uh, an argument with, you know, card my girls. Cardio, 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 cardio. No. Heavy weights, heavy weights, heavy weights, heavy weights. Oh, and then the tears come. Boo, lifting weights hurts. Yeah, bitch, because it's not easy. Nobody wants to do the easy stuff. Nobody will do the hard stuff. And we as girls are like, oh, it's okay, sweetheart. Come here, you got a boo-boo? Let me kiss the boo-boo. Fuck you and your boo-boo. Go, go jam out some heavy weights. Just say it. You, you want to look? Muscle is the new Botox. Muscle is the new Botox. When you see these bitches out there doing hundreds of thousands of dollars in their face and they've done shit to their body, that's a rip-off. Then they take their clothes off and you're like, uh, I'm pretty sure you need to go to the gym and work out because this is not matching. This is not matching. And if you think spending the money on your face is going to make you look young, you're delusional. If you think spending the money on your face and you haven't done the hard work, you're delusional. Because we know, because we can see that you've spent all your money on your face and you have done shit with your body. And that spin class you're taking is not working. Sorry. I teach spin. I love it. But it's an accessory. It goes heavyweights first. Actually, eat right. Heavyweights and then your accessory work. So the way that I train is actually set up by the food that I eat. So my food is life, it's magic. 
and then I do my strength, I do my conditioning, and then I do my accessory work. Somebody asked me the other day, they're like, oh my God, do you do abs every day? Yeah, bitch, what are you doing? Why are you so busy? How are you busy for 24 fucking hours a day? Uh, because I have kids. Shut the fuck up. My mom had three kids. I Don't tell me about busy. Hate that. I hate when you guys come back to me with your kid delusion. It's a delusion. It really is. It's a delusion. It just is. And it, and it pains me. It pains me when, when you guys are like always putting excuses before your health. Always putting excuses before your health. That's why you have abs. Yeah, of course. I, uh. Always putting excuses before your health. I now consider my classes my accessory. Yes! Lori, I love you. Tell us what you really think. <laughs> Do abs while your kid does homework. Yeah. 100%. Judy. Love you, girl. Um, I, I, I think that the excuses come at me sometimes. And your time references, like your clocks, are super, like, messed up. Meaning, you, you got... Add a coconut mana. Go, girl. You gotta, you gotta add, felt full, yeah. Coconut mana is life, babe. You've gotta look at your clock and be honest about the crap that you guys fill in to your clock. Because remember, if you're bullshitting the clock, it's gonna catch up to you. And it catches up to you in a really vicious way where you're like, oh, how did I get diabetes? How did I get how did I get on all these drugs, these statins and Zoloft? How many people I know that are on Zoloft? They're like, that's disgusting. Who does that? You should be working your way off of everything. Off? No, I'm I'm on. No, you should be off. Oh, but my doctor. No, your doctor doesn't give a fuck about you if they can write a script and push you down and keep you on that rat wheel, but I want to work you off. I want to work you off. How do I go there? I got to get your nutrition dialed in. That's your hack. Your hack is your nutrition. And then I'm going to fucking work out. What do we have to do? What are the basics? I got to squat. Why squat? Because it's how we were made. We weren't made to sit in chairs. We sit in chairs all day long. Nothing wrong with a chair, but when you're sitting in it all day long, that's why I love my desk. I have two sides to my desk and I'll stand and talk to somebody or I, I, I drive and communicate to my clients. Guess where I'm driving? To the gym. And you don't wanna stick, I'm gonna stick in some treadmill. Fuck you, go for a walk. Go outside and look at the trees. I watched this video the other day. Uh, he was a 97 year old philosopher, 97. Brain, and, 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 and here, here's, a, here's, a, here's a punch in the face. You're 97 and your mind is all there. Wrap your head around that for a second. You guys know why I wear this band, right? If you're not sure about it, we'll talk about it later. But 97-year-old guy who brains all there, and he's, he's, he's like just smart as shit, right? And he's written a bunch of books and college professor and blah, blah, blah. And he's talking about his life. like, And he talks about dying, which I love. I love to talk about dying. Nobody likes to talk about dying. I'm like, we're all going to die. We don't know when which is the trippy part because I've lost so many friends. I've lost so many people around me that I'm like, I live differently because of that. When people die around me that shouldn't be dying, I'm like, I, sh I, need, I need to live. And I need to do what makes me happy. 
and I need to wear what makes me happy and I need to eat what makes me super energetic. Like pizza's not your friend. Yeah, but I like eating it. You like eating it, but you feel like shit. So how's that working for you? It's the same analogy that I use with people like drinking alcohol. Now, look, I'm going to get down and dirty with you alcoholics out there. I have my like, my pretend alcoholics and then my like real alcoholics. Like a lot of people out there, guys are drinking and drinking and drinking and you think it's cute. It's not. This is not cute. It's not pretty and you look like shit. And your body is from the inside rotting from the inside out. Just think about it. And, and, and so many people are, are just like super addicted to alcohol. They're super addicted to the, you know, the, like the social side of drinking. Like I'm going to be out with my friends and have a couple drinks. It sounds like you have depression or it sounds like you really aren't engaged with the people you're hanging out with because when I'm, su I'm I don't drink alcohol and it's been a while. And when you get past a certain point and you have conversations with people that drink, it's just weird. It's like you're talking to a schizophrenic. You're like talking to people that are just weird. Like your conversations are, they're dull and they're, they're heavy. They're like mucky and it's not attractive. If you're all drinking, you, you, you all sound, great to each other but as an outsider as a healthy mind person it's gross it just is and i don't care if it upsets you i i, I really want to talk to people that you you want to get off you want to live like it's like almost going to uh how do i describe like how do you wake up and you're happy all day I live it, so I want to share that. And the argument could always be, I love being, uh, you know, sad. I love my sad place. And I'm not talking about, oh, I'm happy. That doesn't exist. They're, 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 the moods are, I feel joyful, and I feel blessed, and I feel committed, and I feel uh, physically energized like the other day I had like a dip and and the dip I didn't sit in the dip I just looked at the dip and tried to figure out why it was a dip so I kind of went back and I was like oh that triggered the dip so when I dip I go uh-uh I don't want to stay there I mentally click and go nah I, I don't want to give it like, I don't want to give it power. I don't want to give the dip power. I don't want to give the, the low, the, the energy it needs to go lower because I don't like it. I don't feel good. I want to I take that dip and go, no. And that's a stoic. That's a stoic mentality of, of being like, nah. If, I, if I'm cruising, if I'm cruising and I'm doing 80, which is like my, my average. And then some days I'm doing like 120 and I'm like, boom, burr. And then when I go work out, I'm like 210. I'm like, what? Back burners kick on. And I'm like, yeah, because I'm ageless also, which is a huge hack. We're going we're to go deep on, on age real quick because a lot of you are as old as you are. Some of you are a lot older than your age really is. And I, and I live around a lot of people and a lot of different subsets, a lot of groups of people that I go, wow, bitch, you look good. God damn, what are you doing? A hundred percent of the time they tell me my food, my workout is priority. My family, my relationships are jacked up. I'm like, right on. I get that. Because I pride myself in my relationships. 
I pride myself in the people that I've had in my life, and I've had people in my life forever. I have childhood friends that I'm so close to, like, like I, I, I can't even describe one of my dearest friends. He was my boyfriend when I was 10. He's like my brother now. Like, that's how close we are. When I was 10. And he's still mad that I broke up with him. I was 10. I tell him. I'm like, babe, I was 10. I was 10. I, I love you, but I was 10. He's still mad. He's still freaking mad at me. But again, he's like family. And those relationships are so deep and so personal. And those are the people in my life that they'll never go anywhere. They're, they're my deep, they're my soul. And the intermittent relationships that we have with people, I don't, I don't put pressure. Like my, 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 I think my, my longevity friends are the people that I never have to call them. I don't need to communicate with them on a daily basis. If I text them five years from now, the text is like nothing ever changed. And those are those deep, loving, beautiful relationships that they, can you all hear my stomach? Just a growl of just going crazy. What are the hacks do you guys have right now? Tell me, tell me, share with me what you guys are going through. Share with me some of the things that you guys are doing personally with your life that work for you. I know that when I set my clock, I never set my clock. It's a lie. It's just a lie. We have to think about the food. If you guys are frustrated with, with your eating, if you guys are frustrated with your workout goals, if we don't have like the strategy, um, reach out to me, Mindset Reset. It's a five week program. You start when you start. And I have a lot of people continuing on with their programs. And where I want you guys to understand that, I get, I get it, eating is hard. Especially if you have a house full of people that you're eating with, it's really hard to kind of back out of that sometimes and be like, Time out, guys. I love you, but I got to do my own thing because I'm not optimizing my health, right? Um, and, and for me, it's meal prepping, getting organized. It's super, super organized. I'm eating the same things over and over and over and over and over. I love to cook. I love to cook. Uh, I'm such a housewife. Still don't know why I'm single. I think I'm too much. I think I'm too, do you hear my stomach? Can you guys hear it? It's so funny. Um, if, if your training is not right, again, even, even just putting on some sneakers and a big hat and going outside for a walk, if you guys live near water, try to get by water. If you guys could take off your shoes and socks and get your feet in the grass, in the dirt, in the sand, even better. Um, Again, Mindset Reset, I want to help you guys out. If you have friends that need help and guidance in getting their program together, um, I'm here for you guys. I'm here every day, 24-7. Uh, I wake up, I breathe, I think about you guys. I think about how can I help you guys uh, be healthier, live longer, have strong bodies, uh, feel confident, be secure, be a badass. I'm gonna start doing interviews with people that I know. Uh, one thing that I've always had a problem with is it kinda makes me crazy. I'm always on the internet looking for badass females. And I'm not talking about the Oprah Winfrey, uh, Michelle Obamas of the world. Those are just like Mayas and people like that. I just, I think that those are like our there, there's a, there's a, there's an island of them that, that just all belong to that we know, like I can hack from all of that, 
but I'm also looking for like the AOCs that are out there that are just like new on our scene or people that are out there that are just changing the way we live life as females, as, 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 our, as our female counterparts. I wanna start interviewing. I have a couple of them that are set up and I wanna share them with you guys. I'm gonna be also building out the podcast. I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming I'm super, super, super excited because I'm going to be filming my 40-year career starting next month. I'm putting all my material online so you guys can have me all day long. I'm so, 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 so excited um, because all that material is out there and I haven't put it together in a format that you guys have access to. I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do a karate class. Super excited about that because you guys know that's my background. Uh, kickboxing, spinning, boot camps, uh, just day to day. I'm gonna do five minute uh, workouts. I'm gonna compartmentalize the workouts so that you guys can wake up and go, oh, I'm late, I only have 10 minutes. Let me grab two pieces. It's almost like an a la carte workout that you guys can go, I wanna do that, that, and that. And then you guys can also tap into, I'm gonna do it like a set of playing cards. So the idea is that um, you're gonna pick three cards or whatever, and that's your workout for the day. So it'll be kind of fun, it'll be super interactive. Guys, it's Friday. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with this thought. Um, I just want the best for you. Again, if, if I've insulted you or, or I've kind of touched on you a little bit, if the word fuck bothers you, this is probably not the channel for you. I don't say those words because, uh, why do you cuss? I mean, it's a fucking word, dumbass. It's a word. It's really a word. And you really need to grow up and get over that. I just honestly, it has no power whatsoever. It's just a word. Don't be a snowflake. And, and, and I want to help you guys with eating. You, you need help? Drop me a line. Reach out. I can't do it for you. I can't reach in and grab you. Well, some of you I can. I'm knock at your door and be like, yo, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? I've actually showed up at people's uh, dinner parties and knock on their door. It was set up. And the faces, they're like, <gasps> Oh my God, busted. Yeah, you're busted, right? So again, nutrition is 100%. Working out is also 100%. So balancing those two, let me help you guys. I've got the workout posted, but I'm gonna close this and restart and get the workout going for you guys. So meet me back here in like three minutes. Let's go ahead and get warmed up. I'm super excited. I love you guys. Today was like super passionate. Uh, don't forget the book, The Buddha in Your Mirror. You're going to love it. You can read it like in an hour. It's a super quick read, but it's actually kind of a staple book that you guys will have. Um, I have it. I, I highlight and dog ear the crap out of this thing, but I've had this book forever and I always go back to it because it just kind of triggers you um, and it triggers like the beauty, the beauty of, of where we're at. Sometimes you ever do this, guys? You go, okay, open. Whoa. Wow, I want you guys to do that. Uh, not only am I congested, <sighs> it's so frustrating. I can, I, I have this problem. That's the only problem I have. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you back here in about three minutes. Uh, go ahead and get warmed up. We're ready to go. I love you. Happy Friday.